guys welcome back to my channel we are doing my weekly shop my stash rotation i am so ready for this i've been waiting to do this um we went camping this weekend so some of the products that were actually in here are also in here so i'll talk about those um then i just put them back in there a little bit as i'm going here i have a lot of products that are newer so i'll talk about those as well um and yeah we're gonna go ahead and get into the video if it's something you guys are interested in, if you guys like these kind of videos, make sure you guys hit the like button, make sure you subscribe, and let's just get into the rotation. So, um, as I just mentioned, I did go on a little trip this past weekend, and I took some things with me, so I'll eventually do a video about those products, but I want to go ahead and get the Shop My Stash out of the way. If you guys do not know, I do these weekly Shop My Stashes. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. I know I have a couple of new subscribers. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. I do these shop my sessions. I try to do them every week uh, where I rotate my products around to make sure I do use my products um, and just kind of get a feel for certain products if I'm going to be keeping them around, things like that. Um, if some of them still are working for me, things also in, in that kind of sense. Um, so if you guys like those kinds of videos, make sure you guys subscribe, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you hit the bell to get notified every time I upload new videos. That's usually what I do. I try to do at least two videos a week. Sometimes you'll get a, another extra video here during the weekend. Sometimes, not always, but um, anyways, this morning I'm just drinking some caramel macchiato with some whipped cream, light whipped cream, and obviously I have my glass straw. We're going to go ahead and get started. I don't know why I felt that I had to mention that, but I'm drinking iced coffee. If anybody likes iced coffee. All right, so for primers, I had a couple of primers this rotation, um, and I used this one the most. This is the Banana Bright Primer from Ohan Rickson. I know a lot of people say this is more of a skincare product, but I do like to use it as a base um, on some of my products, so I do enjoy it. Another one that I really do enjoy is the Milani Soft Focus Glow. Um, but right now, since it is a pretty warm weather, like we're in the, obviously in summer, um, and it's, it's hot, so this does kind of make me look a little bit more oily than normal. Um, not horribly, but I do enjoy it. I think it's something that I use throughout the year regardless. But that said, I do really enjoy both of these, um, as primers. For foundations, I have a lot of foundations in here. But specifically these two, the Rare Beauty and the, um, Danessa Myricks Vision Cream Cover Foundation and Concealer. I don't really like this one. Um, not because it's a bad product, but I just think it's so, so full coverage, and you need so little of this. It's honestly understandable why it's in such a small packaging. Um, but I would not use this as a concealer either because it does crease significantly. It does look very cakey. So if you do buy this product and if you like using it, I think this is more for, like, the makeup artist. I understand she is a makeup artist herself. Um, but I have mine in the shade number four. It's a perfect shade match, but like I said, it's a little bit too high coverage. I do enjoy it. I think I enjoy something like this more like if I was going to an event, which I'm really not going to any events, um, but if I was, I think this is what I would wear. It's not a horrible product, but it's not my favorite. Rare Beauty Foundation, on the other hand, I really love this foundation so, so much. This has been one of my favorite foundations so far since I've tried, um, I think I got this like at the end of last year, but I really love this. I have the shade number 200C. It's like the perfect, I know it's a serum foundation and you'd think with me having combination skin, it's just so, such a good foundation though and I really think this has become one of my top foundations of my con like whole collection so far. Um, it's just so, so good. I love the packaging. I like how it looks on my skin. I'm actually wearing it today as well. Very lightly on my skin but I do really enjoy it and it's just such a good foundation. I also have these two in here. This one just kind of lives in here. This is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Tinted Moisturizer. I have mine in Light AN. I think I'd want to go a shade darker. It doesn't really work for me right now. Um, I look really pale when I wear this in comparison to me getting a tan right now because of summertime. I'm a little bit deeper. So um, it's just not something I've been reaching for. On the other hand, I've been really enjoying reaching for the Purito Sika Clear and BB Cream. And I really do like this one. I do see myself maybe when I finish this up purchasing another one it does get a little bit dirty because of the packaging you know it's it's tube so it's just a little bit a double downfall there i wish i had like a pump or some kind of similar to the red beauty one a wand but um i really do like it i like how it looks on my skin i like how it wears off that's number one i like how it wears off so i do see these two being like my top foundations this year i just really really enjoy them this one is going to go back in my collection for now for concealers, I had a couple concealers in here. 
I have the Bare Minerals Concealer Powder in Well Rested. This is actually really good, but to be honest, I think I don't reach for it as much as I should because it can look a little bit like I have like a white cast under my eyes, and I've noticed that with pictures. Now, with that said, I would use this more like a setting powder, if anything, lightly dusted, really, really lightly dusted under my, under my eyes, but I wouldn't necessarily say I would not use concealer with like a cream concealer with it I've tried to use it on its own it's not my favorite I've tried to use it with concealer it's not my favorite I think it's just like a more like a setting powder for me lightly on my eyes so I had the essential high coverage concealer liquid from Jouer in wheat and the benefit Boeing. I am almost done with this one um I don't have a lot left I've tried like see right now it's it it has product there but no matter how hard I try to scrape it, sometimes I feel like I don't get, I don't know what it is. I think it's the wand. I don't get an even application. Okay, obviously now I do, but I don't know. I feel like when I put it under my eyes, I don't know if it's the shape of the under eye, but I don't get an uh, like an even application. And this is way too light for me right now. I think this is more of my winter shade, number four. I think I'd go a shade up if I do plan on repurchasing this one. But right now, I don't plan on repurchasing any concealer. If anything, I'm trying to look for the Milani Conceal Imperfects. That's like my number one concealer, and I cannot find the shade 125. I've gone to Target, I've gone to Walmart, I've gone to, to CBS, and all of them are sold out. I don't know if they're discontinuing that product. I'm really disappointed, but I hope they do not. Um, the Jouer and Wheat I do like, but again, I think these are just really light for me right now. I have to find like a concealer that's like my perfect shade. That's like really pinky in comparison to that, but they're just super, super, super light. So I don't think these are ones that I'll be pulling right now. I think I have a, a plan in my head of what I'm going to pull next, but... They're just really light, and this is very pink, by the way, the Benefit Boing. So just wanted to throw that out there. Okay, I'm going to try to move on a little quicker because I feel like I'm going really, really slow. Powders. I have the Laura Mercier, which I do enjoy. And I honestly am almost done with this one. I have, like, about a fourth of it left. I, I'm up here, like I said, if you guys can see that. But I have a little bit of this left, which I'm really excited about. Then I have the Veil uh, Hourglass uh, Powder. This is really nice. I have a mini of it. I've been really enjoying this one. I had it on the go as well, which I really enjoyed. So really enjoy these powders. For cream bronzers, I have two. I have, oops, excuse me, the Danessa Myricks Bronzer in light which is really really good i was really surprised by this bronzer it's really creamy it's really easy to blend out i've been really enjoying this bronzer this cream bronzer the fenty beauty cream bronzer in butter biscuit i only reached for this i think once so i think i'm gonna keep this one around a little bit longer and test it out more but we'll see i'm, I'm obviously want to switch my products around so i think i'm gonna actually put those back I have the Aladdin and MAC bronzer. It looks like I barely even used this, but I have used this. It is really, really easy to show up on my skin. Um, it just kind of looks a little patchy sometimes, even with the swatch. Like, I'll go ahead and intensify the swatch a little bit. It can look a little patchy, which is not my favorite. I try to blend it out as much as I can. Um, I think this is obviously a really good product. MAC bronzers, I know I would get really good hype, but in my opinion... As a regular makeup consumer, I don't think this is my favorite formulation. It's really stiff in the pan. And like I said, it kind of can look a little patchy sometimes. And it's just the color is a little bit too red for me. I don't know, but it looks too red. On my skin, it looks really weird. So I don't think this is like my perfect shade. But I do love Aladdin. And I love Disney. And I love, you know, the whole concept of this brand and the collab. So I will keep this in my collection and maybe use it in the future more. But for now, I'm just going to obviously put it back. I also had the Urban Decay All Nighter Powder. I think I just brought this out again because, again, it's summertime. My skin is a little bit more oily than in the fall and winter and spring. So that's one odd product that I also had in here. A couple of blushes. I had the M Cosmetics Venetian Rose, which is actually what I have in my eyes to, uh, my cheeks today. I really love this blush. It's so, so good. The shade is just so perfect for, like, everyday looks. I think this is just one of the beautiful, most beautiful shades ever. And it has a little bit of a glow, which I don't feel, I don't find myself that I need a highlighter when I wear this, which is also good. All right. I also had the Buxom Blush in Havana. I went with more, like, of a cool tone pink look. I also like this one. I do like this Buxom Blushes, the Primer Infused Blushes. This is not one of my favorite shades, but I do like the shade, um, so that is good enough for me. I also, of course, pulled out my nudies. This is the Nudies Bloom, which is like a more dewy one in Tiger Lily Queen. It's actually one of my favorite shades. It's just super, super pretty and bright. And I also have the one in Body Language, which I've also been really enjoying. 
Um, this is just one of those uh, blushes that just looks really pinky. It's really cool tone. So I think it went really well with a lot of the colors that I did. Like a lot of, I did a lot of colorful looks. Um, a lot of like more cool tone pink looks. So I just think they're really, really pretty. I have the Hyper Real Glow Mac Powder Palette. This is a highlighting palette. And I really do enjoy this palette. I used kind of all over. I kind of just grabbed my... I use this Morphe fan brush and I kind of just swipe all over and then I just put it on my face and I really enjoy that. Really good palette. I'm really happy it's in my collection. I really like this palette and I have mine in the shade. I think it's like the lightest palette. I have Flash Awe, Rosy Glow, and Light of the Party. So those are the shades in this palette. All right. Is there anything else that I'm missing before I start talking about... Some single shadows I had in here. I have the single shadow and so this is Love from ColourPop. I really enjoyed using this one as well. It's just a really pretty pink shade. I also have the single shadow in Ritz, which I really enjoy. I'm actually wearing this one today with the Zodiac palette from Kathleen Lights. And it's just like another kind of added shimmer glow. It's just super, super pretty. Um, and then I also had one more, which is new. I'll go ahead and pull it up from this bag because I put it in here. It's from ColourPop and it's the shade in... Kush, which I've really been enjoying. I know that Ritz and Kush are a duo that they sell on ColourPop website with like the taupe palette, um, but it's a really good color. I th I just really love these colors. They're super bright and super pretty, and they're really good for like an added pop of color. Um, but I'm going to put this back in here because I want to talk about my bag that I had for eventually another video for like a little trip. So with that said, um, let's talk about some lipsticks that I had in here. I did go ahead and use the shade uh, from Anastasia Beverly Hills and Tulip. I'll pop a picture up here. I did a really pretty kind of like yellow look. So I really enjoyed using this one. It's a really pretty color. I had Lucky Strike and Mesmerize, which are also kind of like pink colors. Do you guys hear the thunder? It's thundering and it's really rainy. It's been really rainy this past weekend. So I used these two kind of more like uh, movie colors, like pinkies and really happy with these. Really like them so much. I love the velvet um, blur formulation from ColourPop, so that's an added bonus to my collection. I really do like those. I just wish that they didn't discontinue their colors so often um, as they do. So, lip liners I'll have in here, some lip gloss. I have the Lux Lip Gloss in Let's Be Clear, which is obviously a clear lip gloss. I do like the smell of this. However, I don't think it's something that I would reach for as much as to say, maybe, I feel like I'm going to get this really dirty really fast. So what I try to do is I try to use a lip brush, which is kind of stupid, honestly, but I really like this. I love how it smells. It kind of smells like cake batter, um, and it's a really good, uh, it's a gloss. It's going to wear off, you know, you're going to have to reapply it, things like that, but it's good. The lip, uh, contour lips are from Essence. I use this one a lot as well with that shade in Tulip. It's really, really pretty. Love it so much. All right. A bunch of, oh, another single shadow that I used. This is the Moon Dust from Urban Decay in Solstice, and I really do like this one. It has a shift. It's really, really pretty. Um, I really enjoy this with a lot of the palettes, especially with the Pat McGrath palette I'll talk about. I'm trying to move a little quicker here. I'm going really slow. A um, bunch of mascaras that I had in here. I just kind of use them all entertain interchangeably, so I just kind of choose them. My favorite so far has obviously been my Nars Climax and the M Cosmetics Pick Me Up Mascara. Those are like my top favorites right now. Um, and I just recently ran out of my stay all night or, um, um, pen. It's kind of getting dry on me, so I'm not sure what's going on there, but it is kind of newer too, so I don't know what's going on there, but I kind of feel like I ran out, out of this one. It's kind of getting dried out, so that's unfortunate. I kind of just leave it here standing up on this little container. Um, but yeah, those are the mascaras that I change all the time. Um, and then I have the roller liner, um, a brown liner from ColourPop. This is the Color Stick and Coffee. It's a creamy matte, and I really do like it. However, I will say that it does bleed um, on my lower lash especially. It does bleed a lot. So that's the Color Stick from Co uh, ColourPop and Cafe Coffee Shop Creamy Matte. So I've also been looking at, they have a lot of bunch of sales right now. I've been wanting to try a couple of different ones. I also had this one from Pixie. This is the Endless Slicky Eye Pens, which I love. This is a plum shade really do like this one as well all right so let's talk about a couple other products that I had in here you guys can hear the thunder this Fenty Beauty bronzer I'm trying to hit pan on this is in my project pan I do see a pan outline so I'll just kind of keep it here in the foreground 
All right, palettes. I have the um, Charlotte Tilbury Instant Eye Palette in Pillow Talk. Sorry, this packaging is really blinding. I really forgot how good this palette is. However, I do see myself coming up with a lot of similar looks with this palette. Regardless of the color tones that I use, I get a lot of similar peachy pink looks, which I don't mind Like if I'm going specifically for that color story, which I was this week. I really do like this. I love how easy they are to blend, how they don't crease on me because I do have like a little bit of a crease on my eyes naturally. They don't crease on me as bad as some other ones do, so I really do enjoy this palette as a whole. I also have the Sweet Talk palette from ColourPop, and I actually did a look on my channel if you didn't look at the video already. I do have like a peachy coral eye look or pinky look, whatever you want to call it, um, with this palette. It's really, really pretty, and I do really like this palette as a whole from ColourPop. I just really enjoy a lot of ColourPop shadows. Um, I also have the Lemonade palette from Midas that I also used in that video, I believe. So this is the Lemonade Midas Cosmetics palette. It's just a really pretty really pretty canary yellow like a really pretty yellow moment and i like how it goes from really light to really deep really enjoy this palette as well last but not least i have the pat mcgrath rose decadence palette this is like a mini palette um i really like these as well i use these two combined and it's just such a pretty look I like how this gold is like a true gold. This future has, has a little bit of a shift of kind of like a purple, which is also very unique and very pretty if you can kind of see that there. And of course, just that simple kind of peachy, like light pink champagne color. It's just super pretty. We're going to go into my collection now. We're going to look at different palettes and we're going to switch my things out. So let's get into the uh, drawers. All right. So just so you guys know, I do plan on making a purchase of some newer products, like base products. I feel like I'm kind of getting in a rut. I'm sticking with the same products, which is fine. Like, I obviously want to go through my collection and things like that. I do have a couple foundations that I do see myself decluttering here um, in the future. But I'm going to go ahead and just talk about primers. The primer that I want to use, of course, is the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Complexion Primer. I have missed this one. I really do like how it looks on my skin. And I also want to kind of try to finish this one up. I don't have a little bit of this left. This is the NYX Marshmallow um, Primer. And I really want to try to finish this up. So I'll use these two. For foundation, I think I'm going to go with my, well, I don't know, I've been kind of, I'm going to use my Beauty Blender foundation. This is in the shade 3.30. I want to pull this one out and I will also use my ColourPop. This is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh foundation in light 55N. I could be a little bit light for me, so I do see myself maybe pulling in another um foundation but for now i'm going to just use those two for concealer i'm going to go in with my naked urban decay stay naked concealer in the shade 40 ny i think this is like my perfect shade right now and i'm also going to be using um, let's see here But I think I'm going to also use my Milk Makeup. This is the Blurring Set from Milk Makeup. It's a matte, loose setting powder. And I kind of need that matte powder right now, especially in the summertime. So I'm going to pull this one from Milk Makeup. And I have mine in Translucent Light. Do I want to add anything else? I don't think so. I think we're good here. So we're going to go into the next drawer. So we're in my eyeshadow palette drawer. I'm going to go ahead and choose some eyeshadow palettes. I have two drawers full of eyeshadow palettes that I'll go ahead and choose from. The first palette that I want to choose is the uh, Morphe 35H Hot Spot palette, just because it kind of reminds me of the new palette from Natasha Dona that just came out. The Zendo, I believe it's called. This kind of reminds me of that, so I want to pull this palette and just do a little bit more of like those blue and pink red color looks. I want to kind of combine this whole palette and use it more. And I do plan on doing a video on it in the future because, I do, like I said, I do want to use it. I do have it. It was a gift. So I'm going to pull this one. Um, I think, let's see here, I'm going to try to put everything back as kind of how I find it, but I think from there, I also want to use these Rowan, this Rowan quad, this is the Rowan 52 degrees quad, I purchased this myself, and I really want to pull these out and use them with that palette as well, it just gives a little bit of a kind of different texture and color, so I'm going to pull this one as well kind of just want to use it because I do really like it so pulling that let's see here do I have anything else I don't think so um I have a couple of newer palettes I was kind of going to use my going coconuts palette as well from Colourpop I haven't reached for this one in a while 
but I think I want to reach for something else. So let's kind of go and look here. I'm going to put this palette back here. Okay, so I know I want to reach for my Norvina palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I haven't reached for this palette in a while, so I'm going to pull this one. This is the ABH Norvina palette really pretty purple kind of more like cool tones right here and then you get your warm tones over here want to use this one and I think I'll do one more palette just to kind of get it out of my system and I want to use the glam palette from Natasha Denona I want to do more cool tone looks as well with that palette rolling quad I think it looks really pretty so I'm going to pull the glam palette from Natasha Denona we're going to go into my uh, cheap products we're going to go into my cheek products now. I'm having a lot of issues with my camera setup today, so I apologize. Okay, I hope that doesn't move. Okay, so we are in my cheek products, and I'll go ahead and put everything back that I have. Actually, let's go. Let's leave it to the side right now. Um, let's see here. I know I want to... I want to use my Natasha Nona Daria palette. I've been missing this one and I want to pull it out. So I'm going to be using this palette, this rotation, as well as this Ofra highlighter in all of the lights. I want to use this one a little bit more. Oops. I also. Let's see here. I don't know what I want to do for blush. I think I want to use this NARS blush. I don't reach for as much. This is the NARS blush in Fire Clay. But since I do have a blush in the Diamond and Palette from Natasha, I think I'm going to skip that blush for now. Bronzer. I want to reach for my Soul Body Bronzer from ColourPop. I want to use this one a little bit more. I also want to reach for my Rare Beauty. Um, this is the blush in Nearly Mauve. It's a cream blush. So I'm going to redo this one as well. I kind of saw a couple of videos of different techniques of how to get this to work for you. I've had I've talked about it in the past. It's not my favorite blush. I think if I rated this blush, it'd probably be the lowest rated in my collection, just because it is kind of hard to work with as far as like it doesn't stay as long. But I've seen a couple of videos of people working with these, and I think the best way to apply it with a, is with a brush, or like a stippling brush. So I'm gonna try that this rotation and see how I feel. Again, this is the Rare Beauty blush in Nearly Mauve. And I think I want to pull my Patrick Ta. This is the Patrick Ta She Sculpted Cream to Bronzer Powder as well. So I'm going to pull this one. Um, I don't think I see anything else that I want to use here. So let me put these products back in here. I think we're done with this product bin. If I do want to pull anything else, um, I would say maybe it's my Milk Cream Bronzer. I haven't used this one in a while, but I do have the Patrick Ta and the Soul Body, so I think I'm going to leave this one for next rotation. Um, actually, you know what? No. I'm going to switch this out. Oh, I'm going to use them both, though. I think I'm going to use them both. I'll use all three of these. I don't care if this is. This is a newer product to me, but I want to make sure that I use these as well. So I think I will eventually do a video comparing them all. Um, but for now, I'm just going to pull them out in my rotation. All right, we're going to go back into my drawer and kind of fix everything and talk about some single shadows and some lipsticks. All right, we're looking at all of my lipsticks that are kind of put away here. And we're also looking at... Some single shadows. I want to pull the newest ColourPop single shadow to me in Kush, which is just like I told you guys, a really pretty kind of silver. And I think it also go really good with the Glam palette. And I also have a single shadow. This is my Maybelline Color Tattoo High Roller 24 Hour Shadow. I want to use this because I saw Paulina Beauty use the Oyster Pearl shade from Charlotte Tilbury, and I've been wanting that shade so bad. But I really do believe in my heart and soul that this is a dupe for it. This is the shade in High Roller from Maybelline. And I think that this is a really good dupe for that shade um, that she had in her, you know, look. So I want to use this one as well. I do like this one. I had it in my trip as well. I use it as a single shadow. I'm going to pull this one. And I also 
I have this BH Dazzler <clears throat> that I've been neglecting. This is the Diamond Dazzler in Precious from BH Cosmetics. And again, I want to use this more and I want to, you know, test it out. It's a really pretty shade as well. It has like a little bit of a green base. So I want to use this one as a like a lid topper with the Glam Palette as well. So I'll do those three. For base... I use, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay. Where's the other one? The Marshmallow Primer Mini that I want to try to finish up. I have like maybe this much left of it. So I'm going to use this one. I think I'm going to put the Pretty Fresh back in the drawer because I'm not really reaching for it. But for now, it'll stay here. Um, okay, foundations. I have the Beauty Blender and the Pretty Fresh Foundation from ColourPop. I have my all-nighter, of course, that's going to stay in here, and my milk makeup blur and set that I need um, because of, obviously, summer. For concealer, I only pulled the Urban Decay Stay Naked Correcting Concealer. I have it in 40 and Y, and I think this is the only shade that works right now for me in the summertime because it's the deepest. So, again, if I don't find my Milani one anytime soon, this is what I'm going to be reaching for the most right now. Okay, let's talk about lip products. I know I'm using cool tones. Like I said, I pulled the Rowan Quad. This is the Rowan 52 Degrees Quad. And I also pulled the Glam Palette from Natasha Denona. The Morphe 35H Hot Spot Palette, which I want to use, especially for these more cool toned blues. You know, I want to play with this. It kind of reminds me of the Zendo Palette. So I want to use this one. Let's see, I don't have any space here. All right, there we go. The Norvina and ABH palette. I want to pull this one as well and use it. I've been missing the ABH formulation for a while. And of course, like I said, my Natasha Luna Glam. I also have a bunch of cream products. I have my Patrick Ta. She sculpted Duo that has a cream product here and a um, powder. I have my Milk Makeup Baked Bronzer. I have the Soul Body. Um, this is in the shade Light. This is the Face and Body Bronzing Balm, but I also want to use this. Don't want it to dry out here. I have my Rare Beauty Blush in Nearly Mauve that I want to use, as well as my Ofra Highlighter in All of the Lights. And my Diamond and Blush Palette from Natasha Zona, which I think I'll just leave up here for now. I do have my flower power that I've been playing with from BH as well as my Fenty Beauty bronzer that is in my rotation for my project pan or my project pan. So now let's go into the liquid. Um, I want to pull. I want to pull a liquid. Liquid lip. So I think I'm gonna go with the Milani Matte Satin Lip in ten. This is the Amore Satin Lip in number ten. It's just a pretty red, and I really like this for that cool tone look, a uh, palette, like a look. I also want to pull this more cool tone designer collection ColourPop Boo shade. This is more of a gloss, but I do like to use it with those cool tone looks as well. I just need to reach for these more. And I think, last but not least, I will also pull this red lip liner from Charlotte Tilbury in um, Kiss and Tell. It's a lip cheat liner. I think it'll go really good with that red toned um, lip uh, from Milani. I think that's it for this drawer. Um, let's see here, my color pop lips. I am using the Norvina palette, so I think I want to use these two colors from Huda Beauty. I have Girls Trip and Interview. This is Girls Trip. Oh my god, it's kind of melting. Okay, that's a girl's trip. I think it'll go really pretty with that gloss from Disney. And then this is the one in Interview. It's a little bit more pinky, like deeper mauve. I think these will go really pretty with that gloss from ColourPop in Boo. So I'll pull those. 
So I want another red. I think I'm actually going to do a kind of like a cool tone. This is the shade Pinkies Up from ColourPop. It's like a more cool tone kind of brown. So I'm going to use this one. Sorry, I'm not like really coming up close. I apologize for that. That's Pinkies Up. So I'll pull this one. And I'll also pull my lip liner in um, Iconic Nude from Charlotte Tilbury to use with that for the cool tone lip look. All right, you guys, with that, that is my weekly rotation for my project, or from, sorry, for my Shop My Stash. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't too long. Obviously, I try to edit for time, try not to make these videos too long, but I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. This is what my drawer is currently looking like. It looks kind of bland compared to other pictures. Like, usually I'll have more different colors and things like that for a picture. Maybe I'll take this out of its packaging. I just want to keep it in sleeve because it's just, I don't know, it's just, I guess, bougie. That sounds so... Ugh, so gross but it comes with this little sleeve so I figured to keep it in there but I do like the packaging it's really pretty it's really reflective obviously I want to swatch these for you guys these are the little Rowan 52 degrees quads and I think this would go really really pretty with that color and high roller from Maybelline this is more like a purple they're just so unique I've used this shade on its own by itself it's so pretty and then the last one is like this silver kind of cool kind of blue tone one. It's so, so pretty. I just think these are so pretty. And I love this quad from Rowan. I do want to purchase the 1111, but I've been kind of staying, trying to not purchase so many palettes. Because again, palettes are really hard. That's why I do these rotations. They're hard to get through. I just want to use everything and everything at once. So it's hard. <laughs> So yeah, with that said, I hope you guys enjoy. I'm sorry for rambling. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I will be doing some looks eventually on camera with these products. So if that's something you guys are interested in, make sure you guys keep an eye for those videos. So yeah, hope you guys have a good day night wherever you guys are, whenever you see this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.